Okay, so let's take a look at how to set up our, our max effort strength days. Okay, so this is a day where when we're, we're going to take one particular lift, one lift, and we're going to work on building strength. What we're trying to do is increase strength. So, you know, increases in strength, we could talk about different ways that that happens. Load on the bar is typically our main indicator. If we can lift more load on the bar for the same number of reps at our top weight than we did previously, then we've in increased our strength. However, there are some other kind of um, indicators that we're looking at, right? Or markers for strength. For example, um, what we can have is we might have the same load that we did the previous time, but maybe we could do another one or two repetitions. So again, you know, that is, that is a, uh, that is a marker that strength is, has improved. It's just expressed in a different way. You can also assess strength in terms of technique. If your technique is cleaner, let's say you had a squat that you were doing. And this time, you know, last time, maybe toward the end, the knees were a little bit, you know, uh, unstable. You were shaking a little bit more. You were having trouble holding, you know, your upper back posture nice and tight and rigid. And this time, like everything's locked in. The knees are solid all the way through those last reps. That's an indicator of increased strength. Again, it's just expressed differently. You might have more depth on a squat than you did last time. Maybe you're getting a little bit further down with the same weight you did. So it's not always weight on the bar. Um, we can assess strength in different ways. However, the main way that we look at strength, the prime indicator is load on the bar. So talking about that, how do we set it up? Now we can do this strength. I look at the reps between, it could be anywhere between a one rep max to up to five reps between one and five. Here's the thing though. Um, the way that I set this up is for people who are over the age of 40. Um, a lot of times it's people who are over 30. And the way that I set things up is a little different. The principles are the same, but like the repetitions that I use are different. I don't do one rep maxes typically for people over 40 just because the injury risk is so high and we can still see increases in strength doing three to five rep maxes, okay? So that's about where I would set it up for, uh, for somebody who's over the age of 40, is doing no fewer than three reps and then no more than five. So if we take a classic kind of five by five method, right? Five sets of five reps, we can use this. Now again, you could use this for five sets of three. Um, it's up to you how you do that. So taking this, we're gonna say that the reps are five. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna program this so that every set we do is basically a ramp up set that builds into our max effort set. What we're building up toward is one all out maximum effort set, just one. And that one set is where we're gonna try to, to increase our strength. So what we're doing here when we're building this up we're gonna keep the reps at five, no matter what. So we don't do a set of 20 and then a set of 10 and then 12 because we don't wanna create excessive fatigue by the time we get to our main set. At the same time, we don't wanna do so like few repetitions. So we don't just wanna do like two, two, one, one and things like that because we wanna get enough volume in there because one thing what it does is it helps to increase the amount of fluid production in the joints, it lubricates the joints so that the movements are smooth and they feel better. And then also there's enough volume in there to help elicit hypertrophy, right? A little bit of muscle building in there because as muscles grow bigger, um, they, they also grow stronger as well. So we want that in there. So five sets of five reps. What we're gonna do is set number one is gonna be a very light set, somewhere about 40% of what your five rep max would be. It could be a little bit less. Keep in mind, these percentages are just guidelines. These are a great place to start. I find they work really, really well, and they probably will not need to be changed. However, assess for yourself. If you need a little different, you know, play with these numbers a little differently, then that's what you need, okay? So set number two is going to be light, all right? So set number two is light work. It's in the range of somewhere about 60 to 65% of what your five rep max would be. Set number three, we're gonna call a medium set about 75 to 80%. Set number four, now we're starting to get into loading and feeling some load. This is a what we'll call a heavy set, but it's not an all out set. This set is enough for us to get a significant load on the bar to really ramp the nervous system up and the muscular system up, 
but not so much to overly fatigue it that we don't have the strength to set our our, our uh, PR right or our new uh, jump in our in our load or to break our max record. So about 90% of your five rep max is on the heavy set, and now that leads into our fifth set. Again, one all out max effort set. That's about 100% or what we would say 105, depending. If you know the weight that you're gonna do, like last time maybe you jumped into, let's say you were doing a squat and you hit 225 for three reps last time. Well, great, you're gonna go 225 again and your target is five reps. You might not get all five this time, but that's the target, right? So that would be 100% uh, would be 225 based on the last time you did that. Now, let's say the last time you did 225 for five. Okay, so now you've already done that. So now maybe we're gonna jump it up about 5% more and that's gonna be the target that you're gonna shoot for, five reps with 105%, so a little bit more than the 225. Now here's the thing again. Again, you know these are not written in stone. This is a good place to start. Some people will do very well with five sets, four, four ramp ups and one all out. However, um, some people do better with smaller jumps in weight but more overall sets before they get to their max effort. So for example, you know, I've had times where I've needed as many as eight sets to build up to my max and sometimes 10. And so again, I would only do one all out max effort set, but that would be at the end. So if I had to do eight sets, seven of those would be ramp ups and then the eighth one would be the all out. So you, again, you have to assess it for yourself or whoever your client is that you're working with but this is the overall way that we set up a max effort strength day.